Nation's Mobile Delegates, I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for your Mobile Nation's Monday Brief, where I bring you the best of Crackberry, the iPhone blog, Android Central, Windows Phone Central, and the newly minted WebOS Nation. It's been a busy week in tech, let's get into it. Some not so great news coming from the Crackberry Nation this week. We've heard a couple times from different people at RIM that they are hoping to have a target launch of BB10 devices around February of next year. Well, now we're hearing officially that those devices won't see the light of retail day until late 2012. And the reasoning for that is because there is a chipset that is an LTE chipset that co-CEO Mike Lazaridis says will be used to give BlackBerry users the same battery life and experience that they have come to expect from their phones. Unfortunately, that makes it an uncomfortably long wait for all of you BlackBerry addicts out there. Now, while RIM is doing pretty good in other parts of the world, they're pretty abysmal right now in the stock market here in the States. So 2012 forecast for RIM, who knows? Great news, United States Galaxy Nexus fans. You are now able to pick up your beloved Galaxy Nexus rocking ice cream sandwich at your local Verizon brick and mortar online at Best Buy, wherever it is that you want to buy Galaxy Nexus and they have them on sale. And the guys over at Android Central put up their hands-on video. Check it out. Uh, as far as the body of the phone itself goes, really almost nothing has changed. I tell you, if I didn't have them side by side and I hadn't been using the GSM-1 for so long, you really couldn't tell a difference. In addition to that amazing Galaxy Nexus goodness, Google has also announced that they are rolling out Ice Cream Sandwich officially for the Nexus S right this second. It's only the GSM version, so don't get too excited if you have a Sprint branded one, but they are going to be rolling out Ice Cream Sandwich to the GSM Nexus S over to the next month. So check your phones if you have one. In the news over at the iPhone blog, well, the rumor mill seems to be on vacation this week, which is a good thing because iTunes Match went live internationally. That's right, if you are in regions like Canada, Mexico, Ireland, and many more on this green earth, you are now able to enjoy the goodness that is iTunes Match. Now, if you're not familiar with the service, what iTunes Match is, is it's a mirroring service that uses iCloud, and you can even match songs that you haven't bought from iTunes, and they will be available to you at the highest quality bitrate. It's a nice service, it's about 25 bucks a year, it's 25 here in the States, and if you're looking to get out on the action, make sure that your iTunes is updated to the most recent software update. Make sure that you don't have 10 full devices activated on your iTunes account and well, have an iDevice. Windows Phone Central has some really interesting launch event information. That's right, they were in New York City this last week to check out the launch event for the Nokia 710 which is a highly anticipated device coming along with the 800 here in the States sometime next year. Well, the Lumia has a little video action going on, so let's check it out. What's really cool about the device is that this, this is the white version here, right. but you still have the nice clear, uh, the nice uh, soft touch black back, nice. five megapixel camera, wide aperture, so a nice imaging experience. Uh, the Lumia 710 will launch around January 11th of next year here in the States for $49.99 on contract. And I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what Nokia brings us at CES. The mobile nations are still a buzz about the change from precentral.net to webosnation.com. That's right, HP's open sourcing of webOS is creating a stir online for all of the mobile nations fans out there. But what does it mean to you? Well, Jonathan over at WebOS Nation has written an excellent informational piece about what open source is and isn't, what it means for licensing, and also how the development will affect Homebrew, which is a huge part of the WebOS community. It's a really interesting read, super informational, and if there is one piece of WebOS information that you've been looking for this week, this is the one to read. So definitely check it out. That's it for your Mobile Nations Monday Brief. Be sure to check out all of our podcasts at mobilenations.com slash shows. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mobile nations. And you can find me on the internet either at Twitter at Ashley Esqueda or in the old republic. I've been playing Star Wars, people. I love it. Nations, you have been briefed.